right? I don't know why I'm wearing these. I was just told to wear these. But are you ready to be blessed today? Our series is entitled... Pakita nyo nga yung title. Ayaw kong sabihin talaga eh. The title is... When we planned for this many, many months ago, I, I walked out of the planning. <laughs> yung birong, ay, ako ng title na yan. Ganyan, labas talaga ako. No? But it, would, it was voted. So that's the title of our series. It has something to do, not with the fight, but the timing was perfect. Ngayon pa yung laban, ngayon pa yung umpisa ng series. Kaya tawang-tawa kami, sabi namin, what a spirit, spirit's move. This is the spirit moving. So let us just allow the Lord to speak to us in this series. Are you ready to be blessed? This is the one big message. Brothers and sisters, if you are going to listen to God's Word, and you are going to follow Him, one big message tells everything. Are you ready for the one big message? Yes. If you follow God's word, you shall have plenty. You shall have plenty. So talk number one has something to do with plenty. But I believe if you follow His word, again, let me tell you this, this is not my word. This is God's Word. Let us listen to Him and let Him convict us if necessary or inspire us if need to be. But let the Lord speak to us His Word. I was not here last week. Alam niyo ba kung nasan ako? Naniningil ako eh. Marami akong hindi pa nasisingil, no? I was invited. Actually, for two years already, they have been inviting me to go to them. For their anniversary. So, last, yung first time they invited me, hindi ko talaga kaya sa si schedule. Yung, hindi talaga, ang dami kong biyahe, tapos aalis pa ako yung mga ganon. As last year, ganun na naman, hindi na naman ako pwede. And then, they told me last year, brother, we want you really to be there in our anniversary. So, anytime you are free, that is our anniversary. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so, nung nakita ko yung schedule ko, sabi ko, I'll, I, I can give you this day. And they said, that will be our anniversary. Saan ako galing? Sa Feast Tagum, sa May Davao. And do you know that that feast, three years ago, started with just 15 people. Ito, tingnan niyo yung picture na yan. Pag binilang niyo, marami-rami sa 15 yan. Ha? Pero the others there are not from Feast Tagum. Ang nag-umpisa lang talaga, 15 people. Video feast pa. After three years, during the anniversary, we gathered 15,000. Nebiru lang, 1,500 people. Ha? Just imagine from 15 people to 1,500 people. And do you know where they are having their feast every Saturday and Sunday? Tanong niyo sa akin, where? The same like us in a hotel. Social, di ba? Napakita niyo yung picture. May isa pa eh, no? Tama ba? Nakuha ba yung isang picture? Ayan, no? May chandelier. Diyan sila nagfe-feast. Two sessions, gathering a lot, a lot, hundreds of people. But during the anniversary, just imagine three years after, they were gathering 1,500 people. And now we were laughing. We, I was telling them, next year, saan na kayo? Hindi na kayo kasya dyan. Wala nang ibubukas pa yung hotel. And they were planning to go to a bigger venue. But you see, God's Word is saying, you shall have plenty. Just trust in Him. And follow Him. Amen? Hallelujah. This is the first time I'm going to do this. Even if I do boxing, hindi naman ako lumalaban, pero this will be the first time. 
Let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let's pray our favorite prayer together. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Hindi pwedeng may gloves. Hindi kaya to. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Today I'm going to unpack a story in the Bible. This is from 1 Kings chapter 17, 7 to 16. The, the story begins with the prophet Elijah. And Elijah was running out of supplies. Nawawala na siya ng, ng supplies. Pagkain, nawawala na yung tubig. And this is what happened. Read with me, everybody. But after a while, the brook dried up, for there was no rainfall anywhere in the land. God said, there will be a drought. But I will take care of you, Elijah. Go to this brook, and the brook will not dry. For one year, the brook was there. Nakakainom siya ng tubig. Pinapadalan siya ng mga ibon ng pagkain. And then, this happened. The brook dried up. For there was no rainfall anywhere in the land. You know, some people think that if you are close to God, yung ganun kayo ni Lord, yung talagang malapit kami ni Lord, you will never have needs. That is not true. Kami ni Lord, ganun kami eh. Pero may pangangailangan pa rin ako. Di ba? Hindi totoo yun. Hindi porkit malapit kayo sa Panginoon. Not because you're a follower of Jesus, you are exempt from problems. That is not true. But, the perspective is different. Yun ang kaibahan. People who don't have a relationship with God see their jobs, their businesses as their source of supply. Sabi nga, supply. Yun ang source ng kanilang kinukuhaan ng kanilang buhay. But for us followers of Jesus, we don't see it that way. Because our supply, or the source of our supply, is God. Not our jobs, not our businesses. We simply have pipelines. Meron tayong pipelines connecting to the source. And our source is Jesus. So, sabi nyo nga, so, so, if you lose your job or fail in your business, you have to believe that God is simply changing your pipelines to better ones. So if your boss fires you today or tomorrow, if your company folds up, if your business crashes, I would tell you to tell yourself, God is changing my pipeline to better ones. Can, can you do that, everybody? Put your hands over your heart and say those words together. God is changing my pipeline to better ones. Tapikin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, God is changing your pipelines to better ones. Let's pray. Put your hands over your heart again. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. Father in heaven, we are your people excited for your word. This series will bless many of us here. Because you want us to be abundant. You want us to be blessed. So we can bless the world. Say this prayer after me. Jesus, I am ready for your word and for your miracle. I claim them in your name, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. Bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. As you sit down, tell people around you, God will speak to you today. dami natin first session. Feeling ko, inaabangan nyo yung laban. Kasi mamaya pa eh, no? It's okay. At long, as the good thing is you're still here. Talk one. Welcome everybody to our brand new series. The talk number one is plenty. Let me continue the word, reading the word. In 1 Kings, it says, Then the Lord said to Elijah, Go and live. In the village of Zarephath, near the city of Sidon, there is a widow there who will feed you, and I have given her my instructions. To God, brothers and sisters, giving is not just a nice thing to do. To God, giving is serious. Serioso. Pag nagbibigay ka, serioso ang just dyan. Hindi yan yung, oh, yung cute, nagbigay siya. No. God does not give live, uh, giving, he, he does not let giving be left to chance. Yung parang sige lang. Ako, I believe that God designed a matrix of generosity. Can you say those words, please? Matrix of generosity. Anong ibig sabihin yan? They are composed of givers and receivers. God designed this world with a matrix of generosity. God has assigned a specific people to bless you. And God has assigned you to bless specific people. Union. That's it. God has assigned you to bless specific people, specific ministries. So here is my question to you at the beginning of this talk. Who is your Elijah? Kasi itong babae na ito, yan yung magbibless kay Elijah. Kasi wala na siyang makain and he's God's prophet. So my question, who is your Elijah? What ministry should you be providing for? Because there is a matrix of generosity going around designed by God. Composed of givers and receivers. So let me continue. So he went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the gates of the city, he saw a widow gathering sticks. And he asked for her a cup of water. As she was going to get it, he called to her, Bring me a bite of bread too. Humingi ng tubig, pero nung kumukuha na, humingi pa ng tinapay hindi nahihiya ang taong ito. Di ba? Hindi nga siya kilala. Napadaan lang, tapos nang hingi ng tubig. Naranasan niyo na ba yan? Nang libre kayo, sabi mo sa kaibigan mo, libre kita. Tapos yung order niya, yung pinakamahal. At dahil sobrang mahal, ikaw ang in-order mo, soup na lang. Soup na lang ako, ganyan. Yung talaga, ang kapal nito, ano to? <laughs> Bakit ganun? Hirap, di ba? May mga ganyan. Sabi, naalala ko yung kwento ng misis. Yung misis, pumasok ng bahay, galit na galit. Sabi niya sa asawa niya, nakakainis! Ah, galit na galit. Sabi ng misis, Bakit? Itong pulubing ito, itong nasa labas sa pulubi, na araw-araw kong pinapakain, ang kapal na mukha. Sabi ng mister niya, Bakit? Eh, araw-araw ko yung binibigyan ng luto ko. Eh, sabi ng misal, ba't galit na galit ka? Eh, kanina, binigyan ba naman ako? Sabi ng mister, oh, ba't galit ka? Ikaw nga binigyan. Eh, binigyan ako ng libro. Ha? Binigyan ka ng libro, ba't galit ka? Anong klaseng libro binigay? Cookbook. <laughs> but I would like you to get the response of this woman, ha? Huh? Yung propeta, humingi ng tubig, humingi pa ng tinapay. But the response of this woman, this widow, was heartbreaking. Grabe yung sagot. 
Ewan ko kung ikaw si Elijah, tingnan mo kung kaya mong nguyain yung sagot ng babae, ha? Humihingi ka ng tubig, humingi ka pa ng tinapay. Tapos itong sagot ng babae, I swear by the Lord your God that I have not a single piece of bread. Wala na, in the house, no more. And I have only a handful of flour. Sabi nyo nga, flour. Flour yan, kahit anong slang mo, hindi yan pwede maging flour. Okay, flour. <laughs> I only had a handful of flour left and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jar. Tapos itong sabi niya, I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal. Huling kain na namin ito. And then my son and I must die of starvation. Kasi lahat, wala nang makain. Drought. Kaya ito na lang yung huli namin kakainin. Pagkain namin ito, mamamatay na lang kami. Kung ikaw si Elijah, sigurado ako itong sasabihin mo, ay naku, 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 pasensya ka na. Ito pera, oh, sige na, bumili ka pa ng kakainin. But Elijah said no such thing. You know what he said? Why? Because he believed so much in God's word hindi niya binaktrak yung hiningi niya. Tinuloy pa nga niya eh. Sabi niya ganyan, no? Don't be afraid. Go ahead and cook that last meal. But, may but pa. Bake me a little loaf of bread first. Kapal talaga, no? And afterwards, there will still be enough food for you and your son. Grab. He believes in God's word. Elisha said and asked for the unthinkable. He said, I know it's your last meal, but give, give it to me first. Sa akin muna ha? Ako muna. Kung ikaw yung widow, sigurado ko, a perfect stranger, you're going to say, kapal moks. Diba? Kapal moks nito. But Elijah then gives an incredible promise from God. Elijah said, For the Lord God of Israel says that there will always be plenty. Sabi nga, plenty. plenty. Always be plenty of flour and oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. Elijah believed in God's word. And you know what happened? She did. The widow did as Elijah said. And she and Elijah and her son continued to eat from her supply of flour and oil as long as it was needed. Hindi sila nawalan. Nagulat. Last meal, bakit di nawala? Kasi bibigay niya muna. For no matter how much they used, there was always plenty left in the containers. Just as the Lord had promised through Elijah, brothers and sisters, you shall have plenty. You shall have plenty. Can you tap four people around you? Apat na tao, ha? Sabihin niyo sa kanya, prophesy to this person, you shall have plenty. Go, you shall have plenty. You shall have plenty. You shall have plenty. Amen. Let me now give you three lessons of this story. The first lesson, God, if you've noticed, God didn't choose a millionaire to provide for Elijah. Napansin niyo ba? Hindi yung sabi niya, I have talked to somebody already to provide for you. Pagdating niya, hindi naman niya inanap yung millionario eh. Hindi ginamit ng Diyos yung mayayaman. God didn't even choose someone who owned a little turo-turo. Alam niyo yung turo-turo restaurant? Ano sa English ang turo-turo? Point, point, no? Para madali na, meron na nakaluto. Hindi niya ginamit yun. He didn't even choose a middle-aged or middle-class widow. No. He chose a widow who was poor. Ah, excuse me. Not poor. The poorest of the poor. Why? She had last one meal at home. Pinakamahirap. Why? Because I believe God did this because He wants to tell every one of us lesson number one of this story. 
And what is lesson number one? Lesson number one is this. You have no excuse not to give. You have no excuse not to give. Someone provided for Elijah and this someone is the poorest of the poor. Tingnan nyo nga yung katabi nyo kung poorest of the poor yan. Ha? Parang hindi, no? Hindi mukhang hindi naman. Poorest of the poor. Kaya you have no excuse not to give. Pero yung iba, hihirit pa ng excuse. Parang ito, tingnan nyo, yan ang rason. Ang pera ko, parang coke. Kung hindi sakto, palaging zero. <laughs> Di ba? May, may excuse pa rin. Ako oh, makahirit talaga. Yung iba ganun, why will I give? I'm the one who needs it. Ako nangangailangan. But most often, listen, brothers and sisters, our needs blind us to our blessings. Di natin nakikita. We are so blessed. Mga, dami kong pangangailangan. But I believe in this, that wealth is never measured by how big your house is, how many cars you have in your garage, how big or how much money you have in the bank. Wealth is measured by how grateful you are. Doon ka mayaman. Pag ano, grabe ang generosity mo. Tayong Pilipino, ganyan eh. Napansin nyo, may mga kilala kayo. Yung talagang tawa ng tawa. <laughs> wow, ba't ka tawa ng tawa? <laughs> Wala akong pera. <laughs> eh, ba't ka masaya? Dami kong kaibigan. Grabe yung gratefulness. If you are grateful, you will be gracious and you will be generous. Let me go deeper to lesson one. Brothers and sisters, please, do not postpone your giving for better days. You get what that's, that means? Wag yung sasabihin na, ay, saka na ako magbibigay pag, pag okay na. Money is tight right now. I cannot give. Talagang ano na kami, talagang press. Wala na talaga eh. May mga nagsasabi sa akin, magbibigay ako pagka guminhawa na kami. Ako, may lumapit pa nga sa akin, sabing ganyan, brother, pagdasal mo nga ako, bakit? Kasi nahihirapan na ako magbigay kay Lord. Bakit? Ano ka ba? Hirap sa buhay? Hindi nga, baliktad eh. O ba't baliktad? Kasi nung araw, sabi niya, ang sweldo ko, 5,000. So nakapagbigay ako ng 500 tights. Madali yun. Eh ngayon, <laughs> sabi niya, ang laki na ng sweldo ko. Magkano sweldo mo? 50,000. Mahirap magbigay ng 5,000 kay Lord na 10%. Mabigat yun. Kaya pagdasal mo ako. Sabi ko, sige, pagdasal kita. So, dinasal lang ko. Sabi ko, Panginoon, itong anak nyo, hirap magbigay. Bawasan nyo ang sweldo. <laughs> Sabi niyo, wag naman, kaun naman. Huh? Di ba? Brothers and sisters, listen. God is not asking you to give what you don't have. He's not asking you to give what you don't have. He is asking you to give what you have. Naalala ko yung ano, pamilya. Meron silang isang lolo. Itong lolo, talagang consistent. Tumataya ng loto. Pero si lolo, may karamdaman eh. Pero talagang inalagaan niya yung numero. Sabi niya dun sa kanyang apo, tayaan mo ako palagi, linggo-linggo ng number na ito. So yung apo, anong number po ito? Ito yung panahon na sinagot ako ng lola mo. Ito yung number nung birthday ko. Ito yung tinuli ako. <laughs> Lolo naman. Ito po. So sila, taya ng taya ng loto. Tapos isang araw, nanalo si Lolo. 100 million pesos. E nag, natakot ng konti yung pamilya ni Lolo kasi... Baka pag sinabi, Lolo, nanalo kayo, baka ma-heart attack. So talagang, para natin sasabihin? Kinakabahan sila, alam na nila. Tawagin natin si Father, yung pari. 
So sinabi na, Father, ganito po, pag, na, pag sinabi namin, baka mahimatay si Lolo, kayo po magsabi. Sabi ng pare, o sige ako, lumapit, nagbano pa kay Lolo, Lolo, kumusta kayo? Mabuti naman. Ganyan. Uh, kaya nyo ba ang mabuting balita? Pag nagbigay ako ng mabuting balita sa inyo, kaya ko naman. Hindi sasama loob nyo, o bigla kayong maano. Hindi, kaya ko yan, anak. Sabi ganyan. O sige, sabi ni Father, Lolo, nanalo kayo ng 100 million sa loto. Ano ang gagawin ninyo? Ginanun siya. Sabi ni Lolo, ako, pag nanalo ng 100 million sa loto, yung 50 million, idudonate ko sa iyo. Si Father ang na-heart attack. Yeah. 10% of something is better than 50% of nothing. Listen to that. 10% of something is better than 50% of nothing. Kaya wag kayong papa... No excuse for you not to give. Na ano, eh, ngayon ako gipit eh. Dapat ako magbigay. Ako ngayon ko na dapat magbigay. Bakit? Because you open your pipelines to more blessings from God. Alam namin yan. Buhay ko to. Kung kailan ako gipit, doon po ako nagbibigay at doon ako biglang, wow! Ano nangyari doon? Alam ko na yan, tinuturo ko yan, eh, nagugulat pa rin ako. Don't postpone your giving for better days. Sabihin nyo nga sa katabi nyo, don't postpone your giving to better for better days. Two weeks ago, I called up here, Joan. Si Joan, nako, yan, totoo talaga, lumapit yan sa akin buong pamilya. At sabi, brother, pampagawa ng center natin, binigyan ako ng pera. Tapos tinignan ko talaga, 50,000 pesos. Sabi ko, wow, praise God. Tapos sabi niya, actually, brother, nagbabayad kami ng credit card ngayon. Sabi ko, no way. Ibabalik ko sa ito. Ibayad mo sa credit card mo. Ay, nako. She had more faith than me. No, sabi niya. Brother, hindi. I, I, if I put God first, I will be able to pay my debts and I will be blessed. Sabi sa akin, what? At sabi niya, may plano kami magbayad. Nakaplano na yan. In one year time, bayad kami. Tapos she continued, the family continued to give regularly to the ministry. After six months, she came to me and she said, Brother, six months pa lang, bayad na kami. The target was one year, six months bayan. The Word of God says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. And she knows it. Alam na alam niya yon. So no excuse. That's the lesson of Elijah and his widow. Lesson number two. Sabi niya, lesson number two. Give first because life will find a way to repay you. Give first. I call this the give first principle. Making tithing your first expense. The moment you get your salary, set it aside already for offering. Lord, this is for you. Parang gobyerno. Ang galing ng gobyerno, di ba? Inuuna na kagad ang tax. Bago mo mahawakan, wala na. So ikaw, pag nahawakan mo na, Lord, sa iyo na ito. Put it in an envelope, prepare it, and give it to the Lord on a Sunday. As Paul says in Scripture, every Sunday, each of you must put aside some money in proportion to what you have earned. Kaya ako, weekly, yung gusto kong binibigay na tight sa akin. Bata pa lang ako, ganun na, weekly tighter. Hindi ko kaya yung monthly, gusto ko linggo-linggo. Sa akin, pag monthly, parang baka may makalusot. But believe me, if you don't set aside your offering and the first, immediately, you will lose your money. May mga taong ganyan, di ba? Yung pag nagkapera, nanggigigil, ubusin natin to. Oh. Ibilin natin. No? Ganyan. Kaya maganda, hindi mo nakikita. Kaya pag hindi na itabi, na uubos. This give first principle applies in earning money as well. Who among you here, you want to increase your income? Just raise your hand. You want to increase your income. Thank you. Very good. I would like you to apply the give first principle in your job, in your businesses. How? 
imagine. Imagine ha, merong employee number one, merong employee number two. So, dalawang employee. Employee number one asks this, what else can I do for our company? Wow, talaga naman. Yung talagang, he goes beyond his job description. Yun ang employee number one. Yung ang trabaho lang niya mag-computer, pero dumarating sa kumpanya, pinipinturahan yung building. Yung mga ganon, parang ano ginagawa nito? Ganun. Yung goes beyond his job description. But employee number two is different. She, he always asks, Sir, can I get more benefits? Every time na lang, pahingi naman ng benefits, sir. Monday, humihingi ng rice allowance. Tuesday, clothing allowance. Yun ang hinihingi. Wednesday, pahingi ng cell phone allowance. Thursday, pahingi ng foot spa allowance. Pagdating ng Friday, pahingi ng kabit allowance. Yung hingi ng hingi ng hingi. Employee number one is a giver. Employee number two is a taker question. If you're going to promote one of them to be a manager, who will you promote? Employee number one, the giver, or employee number two, the taker? Anong sagot niyo? Sagot niyo? This is the reason why givers are the most successful and most joyful people in the world. Hindi ko ipopromote yung hingi ng hingi. Di ba walang tigil eh. Kakakilos lang, sir. Ilalagay ko to doon. Promote me. Di ba? Trabaho mo yan. I, I want to bless those who are what? Giving themselves. Kaya nga, the first principle will bless you. Give first because life will find a way to repay you. Si Kuhi mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, give first. Number three is mind-blowing. Are you ready for number three? Yes? yes? Lesson three is this. If you need more, you got to give more. Hirap nun? Hirap isipin yun? Bakit? It sounds illogical. Diba? Alam mo yung illogical? Yung parang sa 7-Eleven, 24 hours siya, pero may kandado. Diba? Parang... <laughs> 24 hours ka, but may kandado? Pwede naman wala, di ba? Illogical. But that is the lesson of the story of Elijah and this poor widow. It's illogical. Remember, Elijah told the poor widow to give him first before she cooked for herself and her child. It sounds shocking. But Elijah, just to be clear, didn't ask for selfish reason para sa akin ito. Elijah was teaching this woman a universal law. Universal law. We are governed by universal law. Like gravity. Lahat ng itinapon mo pataas, bababayan, unless sumabit. Ito rin yung universal law. Whether you're a Catholic, a Christian, a Muslim, a believer or not, a sinner, not a sinner, we are governed by universal law. And Elijah was teaching this poor widow, which is, she was not an Israelite. Hindi yan ni Hudyo. Kalaban nga nila yan eh. But she was teaching her a universal law. That if you need more, you gotta give more. Why? Listen, because when you give during your times of need, you replace your poverty thinking with prosperity thinking. At yun ang kailangan mo. 17 years old ako, ito na yung nilagay ko na. Sabi ko, Lord, alisin mo sa akin yung poverty thinking ko. Ha? Kasi I know as I move along, as I grow up, I will have this poverty mindset. So I want to give this to you. My tithes. I was college. I was giving God my tithings. 35 pesos a week. Hindi niya kailangan ng 35 pesos. Napakayaman niya. Pero kailangan ko para ano? Para palitan ko yung mindset ko, yung thinking ko na mahirap ako. And it worked. At tama ako. Dumaan ako sa buhay na minsan bumabalik ako sa poverty thinking. Ano yung poverty thinking? Yung, yung, 
Yung magdi-date kami ni Lelaine. Tapos, free soft drinks, refillable. Isa lang in-order namin. Tapos nakalagay, no sharing. Pag nakatalikod, mm, gano'n ka, tas, <laughs> Eh, gano'n, yun tala, no sharing. Pero higop ka, tapos guilty ka, guilty, ganyan. Para mawala yung guilt, inom ka ulit, ang sarap. Poverty thinking yun. Imagine, no, tighter na ako, bumabalik pa ako sa poverty thinking. Tapos lalaban ulit ako. Tapos mamaya, okay, kaya ko to, kaya ko to. When you give during your times of need, you replace your poverty thinking with prosperity thinking. Naalala ko sa isang bakery, dumating yung isang pulubi, lalaki, sabi ganyan, Ate, palimus po ng cake. <laughs> sabi nung ate, cake! Asosyal mo! Nangihingin ka lang cake pa! Sabi nung pulubi, birthday ko kasi prosperity thinking. Ha? Once a year lang naman manghihingi, birthday mo. Cake na! Di ba? Unless, brothers and sisters, you learn to give, you cannot get out of poverty. Sisigundahan ko lang ito, ha? Yung, alam nyo ito yun, sa simbahan, yung nangihingi tayo ng piso. Naalala nyo yun? Piso ba o 25 cents? 25 cents. Anong tawag doon? Pondo ng Pinoy. Anong sabi ng ating ubispo? Bakit 25 cents lang? Huwag kayong magbibigay ng piso. 25 lang. Para kahit mahirap, makakapagbigay. Yan yun. Yun na. I rest my case. <laughs> if you think this is just from me, no way. We got this from the teachings of the church telling us that if you are in need, this is the time to give. Because when you learn to give, you will get out of poverty. Because your mind will tell you, I'm not poor. I can still give something. Kaya ko 25 cents. Kaya ko magbigay. Learn from Elijah. This week, I would like you to chew on God's Word because God would really like to bless you. But He cannot if your hands are full. He cannot give you something better. Pagpunong-puno yung kamay. Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Do you want to have plenty? Do you want God to multiply your wealth? Believe me, my dear friends, God is in a multiplication business. And if you want God to bless you with plenty, then you have to be a cheerful giver. Because the Word God says, God loves a cheerful giver. Are you a happy giver? Yung pang nagbibigay ka ng love offering dito, yung talaga nakangiti ka, yung talaga, yes, alright. Hindi yung itong bumbay na to, na isana naman ako. Yung ganon. <laughs> yung, yung talaga na ang itiga na sa'yo mo, Lord, this is for you because I love you. I believe happiness and giving go together. They go together. Listen to this story, ha? Kailangan buksan nyo ng konti yung isip nyo. Sana mag-gets nyo. I practice this, how to say it, and I know you will get this essence. May lumapit sa akin, kaibigan ko, many, many years ago. Sabi niya ganyan, Arun, I had a horrible, terrible dream. Grabe yung panaginip ko. Ang sama. Sabi ko, ano yung masamang panaginip mo? Na paniginipan ko that the Lord took my Sunday offering. Yung binibigay ko sa misa, kinuha ni Lord sa harapan ko. Tapos minultiply niya by 10. Sa harapan ko, ginawa niyang times 10. Yung binigay ko sa love offering, nung times 10 na sabi niya, ito na ang sweldo mo linggo-linggo. Yung binigay mo, gagawin kong sampung beses, yan ang sweldo mo linggo-linggo. Tapos doon sa panaginip niya, sabi niya, yun nga ang natatanggap kong sweldo linggo-linggo. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, sabi ko, oh, bakit? Bakit terrible? Eh, Mario Jose, pagkatapos ng ilang panahon, naputulan na ako ng kuryente, ng tubig, hindi na ako makakain. Sige, bakit? 
Paano ka makakain? Ang, ang sweldo ko linggo-linggo, 200 pesos. So, magkano binigay niya? Linggo-linggo, magkano? Computin niyo. Para nahirapan kayo mag-compute. Ano? <laughs> kung, kung 200, yung binigay niya, dino, ginawang sampung beses ni Lord. So, linggo-linggo, may 200 siya. So, magkano pala yung binigay niya? 20. Kaya alam niyo si Melchor Aquino, napakasaya talaga. Nakangiti yan. Kasi nagsisimba yan. Yan ang umiikot sa simbahan. Si Ninoy, nakaganong malungkot. Bakit? Walang nagdadala sa kanya sa simbahan. Kung gusto niyong sumaya, si Ninoy, isimba niyo. Ay, maniwala kayo. Sasaya yan. Ay, ako, just to be honest with you, isinisimba ko yan si Ninoy. Eh. Pag misa na, nilalabas ko yan. O, simba ka. Pag tapos na yung misa, binabalik ko na. <laughs> hindi pa ako tapos. Kasi hindi siya yung binibigay ko yung katabi niya, yung tatlong persona. <laughs> Sila Escoda. Oh, hindi yung kilala yun, ha? If the Lord took your offering, listen, multiplied it by ten, and made that your weekly income, how much would you make? Ito lalagay niyo mamaya. Times 10 mo yan. Tapos bibigay ni Lord sa iyo weekly. Mabubuhay ka ba? <laughs> Tawang-tawa ako dun sa kaibigan ko. Pinatukan ko talaga. Sabi ko, yeah, kasi ako ripot mo. Ah, sa hindi na ako magbibigay ng ganun. 50 na. Ay, 500 din yun. <laughs> Wala ka mo magagawa sa 500. Ganun. Brothers and sisters, I've noticed that the happiest people in the world are givers. Grabe, oh. yung talagang... Minsan nga kinukontra ko na eh. Kasi sobra yun, no. Hindi, basta, saya eh. Ikaw na nga wala, okay lang. But they're the happiest people in the world. And I've noticed that the ha- healthiest relationships are between people who are givers. Who are married people here? Can I see the hands of married people? Marriage is not give and take. Sorry, ha? It's more on giving. It's more on giving. Yeah, you, you, you receive also, but it's not I give so I, I can take also. No, you just give and give. And universal law will just give it back to you. Pag hinalikan mo ang asawa mo, nahalikan ka rin. Napansin mo? Hindi pwedeng ikaw lang humalik. Halik lolo yun sa loo, gano'n. <laughs> Kaya, you just give. And the healthiest relationships are between who are givers. Starting tomorrow, feasters here in Bellevue, I want you, and then every morning thereafter, I want you to wake up and pray, Lord, who is my Elijah? Who will I bless today? Ganda no, no, yung pagdilat mo, yung pagdilat mo pa lang. Lord, who will I bless today? Hindi yung, Lord, ano yung kayang blessing ko ngayon? <laughs> Subukan mo, balik ta rin. Lord, who will I bless today? And this is my dream and prayer for you. Ready? Ready for my dream and prayer for everyone? That you become the most generous people in the world so that you become the happiest people in the world as well. So give from the little that you have and see it grow abundantly. And I would like you to claim the words of Elijah to the poor widow. You are the poor widow now. Especially if you are in need and you decided, Lord, I want to give. Sayo, bibigay ko to sayo. I'm going to give to my Elijah. Claim the words of Elijah. For the Lord God of Israel says that there will always be plenty of flour and oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain 
and crops grow again. You shall have plenty. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Put your hands over your heart, brothers and sisters. Close your eyes and bow down your head. God loves you so much. He wants to see you abundant. But in this time of drought, in this time of need, create a pipeline towards your one source, and that is Jesus. Not your business, not your work. Go to the real source of life. His name is Jesus. And then you will have plenty. You will have plenty of strength to move on. Receive God's joy, God's abundance. Because you're God. Is the Lord of Lords. Who am I that you are thinking of me? That the maker of the heavens writes my soul. God who heals, you'll always be faithful, able and good. You are God of my past and my tomorrows, God in my weakness and sorrow and fall. You are God who provides, God who heals, you'll always be faithful and able and good. You are God of my past and my tomorrow. God is my weakness and sorrow and fall. Oh, you are my God. Oh, yes, God. Father in heaven, I pray for my brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need right now in need of your peace, in need of your healing touch, in need of your renewed strength, in need of your forgiveness and mercy. I ask, O oh Lord, that you meet all our needs right now. We trust in you. You're a God who provides. You're a God who heals. And we receive it right now. Brothers and sisters, receive God's touch right now. He is here. He cares. He loves you. Receive His peace right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive God's healing embrace right now. Holy, wonderful God. Glorify Your name. Hallelujah. Thank You, Jesus. You are God who provides. God who heals. You will always be faithful and able and good. You are God of my past and my tomorrow. God in my weakness and sorrow and fall. You are God who provides, God who heals. You will always be faithful and faithful and good. You are God of my past and my tomorrow. God in my weakness and sorrow and fall. Jesus is your God. I would like you now to surrender to Him your dreams and your prayers. If you have your novena to God's love, just lift them up right now. 
If you don't, just lift up your hands as a sign that you surrender to Jesus. All your prayers and your dreams. Say this prayer after me, Jesus. I would like to create a pipeline to you. You are my source of everything. And so my dreams are yours. My prayers are yours. Do as you please. And I claim them in your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, your words are powerful. I would like you to prophesy to people around you, people you love. Tell them that you shall have plenty. As you embrace them, go, you shall have plenty. You shall have plenty. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand for His word. Glory and honor to Him. Thank you, Jesus. Let's sit down and prepare for our giving as we listen to an exhortation about giving from Mike Sanchez. Good morning. I'm Mike. I'm a light group leader. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm part, part of Bo Sanchez TRC or Truly Rich Club. Uh, TRC, we are being taught of a system. We call it 70 10%. 10% we give it to the, to the Lord as a tithe offering. 20% we invest. And we live by 70% of the remaining the desire to to give to tight to the, to the lord grew even stronger when brother arun announced a tithing challenge and i accepted that and uh, I, i'm also used to doing cost and benefit analysis and roi return on investment calculation due to the nature of my job. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, subukan ko talaga ang Panginoon. Maglista ako, tingnan ko ko totoo. I, I, sinabi rin ni Brother Arun that time, yung Malakai written, and I read it that uh, you bring all tithes into the storehouse and I will open the windows of heaven for you and I will pour out blessings so great you won't have enough room for it. Try it. Put me to test, says the Lord. Pero, uh, rewind, rewinding my life, um, much of my money goes to things of this world. I sought happiness in many bad places, party places, uh, women, alcohol, many worldly things. Then I discovered this amazing love of Jesus through the feast. I found the true happiness I've been longing for in Jesus. I faithfully allocated 10% um, of my income. Slowly, I've realized the greatest reward actually of giving is that it is increasing my reliance and my generosity. The moment that I surrender a part of me, the more Jesus is able to fill me up. I've learned that our heart is 
like a container and it and it, it is designed to receive the love of Jesus if you fill it with worldly things if you fill it, fill it with other things other than the love of Christ wala ka nang lugar para sa kanya and that would just feel that would leave you with deep emptiness i felt this deep emptiness tithing really healed me from my materialism I became a more positive and hopeful person. The, the, the story is long, and to cut it short, fast forward, uh, I gave up. Not the tithing. I gave up listing the blessings because it has be- become so much. Uh, the, the, I will just cite several examples, but these are just several examples. I passed a, a certification from U.S., uh, it's a certificate for purchasing and supply chain manager on scholarship. That's one. <laughs> then I became an accredited trainer of my organization, the Philippine Institute for Supply Management. It, it gave me an assurance that after, even though I, I retire, I can still continue on teaching and it's a, another uh, income stream for me. Then, Surprise of surprises. Uh, my equities is stock, is stock market investment grew by 15% year to date. My mutual funds office with BDO, it got doubled. But, but, but well, I must say this the greatest reward of giving are not all the things I mentioned. It's Jesus Christ. He's the real treasure that we've all been longing for. The ultimate source of our happiness and blessing. Because I have Jesus, I have everything. And I challenge everyone to tithe. The return on investment, believe me when I say this, is out of this world. Glory to God. All right. I like that computing. Lalaki, nagko-compute talaga. Talaga ba, Lord? Biblik nyo to? And he's, he's the proof. We would like to welcome first-timers. So if this is your first time to attend Feast Bellevue, can you stand up wherever you are? And we will pray for you. Sige po, first time ninyo. Okay, mahiya? Yan. All right. Thank you also for those who brought them. Just remain standing. We'll pray for you. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. If this is your first time, those who are standing up and you heard a talk on giving because this is our series on giving. Next week, maririnig ninyo on finances because we are in that series. But we don't talk about this every single Sunday, okay? Ha? Baka magulat kayo, ha? But just let you know we are in that series on finance. Let's pray for them in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, these are your children here in this place, listen to you, being blessed by you. And so we ask that you bring them back here every Sunday so they can be part of our wonderful family. May they feel your love here amongst us. This is our prayer for them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. We have a welcome gift for you. Just replace a welcome stop given to you with a welcome gift after our feast. Thank you so much. Thank you also for those who brought them. Next, I would like to invite our November birthday celebrants and wedding anniversary celebrants. Can you please stand up and we will pray for you. Mga November. Yeah, all right. Anniversary and birthday. Let's pray for them. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you for our loved ones who are celebrating birthday and anniversary this month, O oh Lord, we ask that you shower them with love and surround them with good friends. May they enjoy all the blessings they need to receive this month. More health and more love for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy birthday! Happy anniversary! Next Sunday, we'll go to talk number two. But before that Sunday, um, just, uh, sorry, 
to just to remind you, Kerygma Conference is just a few weeks from now. So I would like you to buy your tickets already. We're going to have powerful speakers. This is our 10th year, and we got the best speakers of the 10 years. So parang wala kayong itatapong speakers this Kerygma Conference. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mataas na rating nyo, kinuha na namin as speakers. And we got one international speaker coming. He's Deacon Harold Burke. And he's a fantastic preacher. You don't want to miss him. Okay? So this is Kerygma Conference. Now, I ask you to stand up and I'll pray for your love offering and your tithe. Let's all stand. Just lift them up like this and then bow down your head. Father in heaven, we lift up to you our offering. We give this to you cheerfully, O oh God. We are happy to give this to you. And we know you are happy to receive them. And so I ask, O oh God, that you give this back to my brothers and sisters a hundredfold to bless them and for them to be continue to be a blessing to many. We give this to you with joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Come, brothers and sisters, with joy, give to the Lord. Salvation for everyone. Freedom that's found in the risen sun. Our hearts can sing now to your great love. Forever we praise now to you we run. Oceans of mercy in your embrace. Love of the Father, your saving grace. Christ our Savior, beloved one.